Hello, Mr. Forbes. So today I'm going to be talking about the 3D printed hammers that, for which I'm doing a partnership with, uh, with uh, another company. So Renovation Les Mondiaux wanted to choose the right company to do this partnership. So first of all, they send letters to different, uh, different printing companies. So those are the labels that I was there. Uh, that I was able to do very easily. So these are people from different companies, from different, they are using different uh, positions in the company. So I was able to change very easily the address, the city, the zip code, the their position in their business, the name of the company and the name of the people I was uh, referring to. So that was very easy to use. After doing the labels, I made letters, obviously. So for the letters, I will. I didn't want to make like many letters, and I wanted to be efficient, clear, professional. So I decided to use this thing, this uh, option in Word. So obviously, I did a letter professional. So I made it general for all the different companies that I wanted to join. So uh, I did the letter, and afterwards, I was able to put, for example, date. Uh, the name, the company, the address, the city and the zip code, uh, the name again, their position, uh, the company they work for, so everything like that. So I used one letter, but I was able to make it uh, to make it for each person I wanted to rejoin to uh, talk to them. So it looks very professional, but at the same time, it was very, it was not time consuming at all because it's one letter that I put it into five letters for the five companies, but it was addressed to the each person very personally because there, it was all their information for each letters. So next I did a news article. So the news article was very uh, easy to make. So since I started a business with a new product and everything, I wanted it to be eye catching. Uh, I wanted to attract the readers, attract the possible customers. So I did a news article. So it's very easy to use. It's very easy to make as well. It's user friendly, like it's very easy. So with Word, I was about, I was able to make that article. So I put it a, a title that I was about to, that I was able to uh, put a different font, different colors, different shapes. I was also able to put a different subtitles. So if the reader want to see a, a specific thing without reading all the data, like the 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 basic data that does not mean anything for a lot of people that way it's eye catching it's nice to read it's colorful and the people can only go see where they want to see like if the hammer they want to know if the hammers are available for everyone they can just go to this subtitle so it's very very easy as well i was able to put those uh, icons and this bubble to put like the emphasis on some information or some text so that was very easy and i love to work with word for that reason so the next one is obviously my resume so i did a resume for uh, to present myself uh, for the the business so I was able to put my education, my profile summary, my contact, my name, and overall of me, uh, different uh, subtitles, but there are many templates on, um, on Word. So I didn't have to put this up all to myself. It was very easy, it was quick, but at the same time I had to work, but not too much because templates help a lot and they help um, they helped me to put uh, to know where to put which information. So obviously, word is very very important when you start a business. It's the basic. I think every company needs it, whether it is just to write a text to make it more attractive, like with the newsletter, or to make letters that obviously were used to type it just currently like that. But the one that I showed you it it was a lot more professional. And as well, I think a resume is the basics so having templates can help a lot since it can be stressful to make it our first resume so thanks for watching and for sure i'm gonna reuse a word in the future bye